Hey guys, so today I'm here with the next in my series of videos showing you how to improve your video quality. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to properly sync your video and audio together. Uh, and this is something that was very, very requested last time, so let me go ahead and give you guys a quick tutorial. So first of all, obviously you're going to need the video, so this is probably going to be from your camera or your camcorder. Uh, preferably that will have some audio, it helps you sync, but if it's not, that's not a huge deal. And then you should also go ahead and pick up your audio from perhaps an external microphone, uh, for example USB or Zoom H1 or whatever. Uh, so once you have both of these, you just go ahead and drop them into your timeline on whatever video editor you like. And then there's a couple of ways to do this. Now there's the automatic approach, which if you have an editor such as Final Cut Pro 10, it will allow you to automatically do it. So it'll get it all perfectly synced out without any, having to worry about anything. Uh, same goes for there are plugins for various editors, not for everything, but there are plugins that you can go ahead and pick up. But again, we'll do the same thing, we'll do it automatically for you. However, if you don't have a video editor, you don't want to buy a plugin or anything like that, there is a very simple manual way of doing it. So all you need to do, and this needs to be done while you're actually filming, is just clap. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the, uh, the sound mixer, it's called in Coral. Uh, you might see his waveform or audio or something like that, but basically just be sure that you can actually see the uh, audio in waveform. So what I like to do is just clap. So you guys can see there, I clap and that it's a really nice loud noise. It allows me to go ahead and sync everything really nicely. If it's just going to be audio and whatnot, it can get a little bit difficult. But if you have a nice really loud clap, and preferably if you can have it on camera, it's very simple. So once you have this and you have it on both, so you can see I have one here as well as one here. So just go ahead and trim this down. It doesn't have to be super precise at the beginning, just get it roughly about right. I actually want to do that, hang on a second. Let's just cut the top clip and delete all the beginning of it and then come down to our audio and do the exact same thing and then put them together and if we look here everything looks about synced up we can go ahead and play through it and we should hear the clap just it shouldn't have any echo or anything like that you should just be able to hear the clap and it's about that simple guys so uh, only other thing is if you can take your video editor and go ahead and lock your audio and video together as well as mute the uh, the camera clip because odds are you're not going to want both audios which is you just want to have your good microphone whatever it may be and there you guys go so at this point you're all good to go just be sure to be careful when you're editing uh, if you don't lock, if you can't lock them together you don't you know they, they don't get out of sync you know half the video is you know the audio is way off or anything like that but as long as you can lock it together and be careful with your editing you should have no problem and here we should have much better audio quality without having to spend a ton of time so anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any more tips that you'd like me to cover as far as making videos, definitely be sure to leave them in the comment section below.